My name is Richard Blackburn. Uh, as a kid, I had fun. My, my parents were always around. Uh, my dad worked a lot, but uh, when he was home, he, uh, we had a lot of fun together. Okay, well, when I got into high school, uh, I was doing good in school, and, and I started hanging out with the wrong people, and I got to 10th grade and started doing pretty hardcore drugs, and, and I ended up quitting school in 11th grade, and I just went down this hard road for a long time. Yeah. I mean, I got really depressed uh, when I didn't have drugs, and uh, I would do anything uh, just about for them. I never broke into places or stole stole things from a lot of people, but I will. I would take money from from my family or, or you know, like my parents and stuff. So, oh, I went to a rehab program uh, for seven days, so I guess it wasn't that great of a program, but uh, I didn't. You know, I didn't really want to change, and I was I was doing that for other people and not for myself. You know? And there was no God involved, so it was very, very hard to, to overcome temptations and stuff. So. You know, after that, it was the same old thing. You know, I got out and I was good for a couple of weeks, and then you know I just fell into the same rut that I'd been in. Um, I finally met my wife, and I guess we've been married for four years now. So I met her about five years ago, and uh, my marriage suffered greatly, and we were on the brink of divorce, and uh, weren't very close at all. Uh, I had we had two kids, or we have two kids together, and uh, they suffered from from my addictions. You know, I wasn't a good father, I wasn't a good husband. Well, you know, I lost my job, and and uh, that was the only other thing that I could hold on to. You know? Uh, I asked my wife to come in and pray with me, and, and we prayed through it, and we decided that uh, we needed to start going to meetings every day. I started going to this small group, uh, Living in Freedom Every Day. We were going through that book, and uh, that opened my eyes to what God was and how He loved us and, and what He did for us and, uh, and what He's doing for us now. And then we went to the retreat in Birmingham, and that was my eye-opening moment. Uh, of what God truly was and, and how He can truly uh, heal people and, and uh, help help you overcome and just love you. And I couldn't do it anymore by myself. I just either go all in for God or go all in for the enemy, and I don't want what the enemy has for me anymore. And I've done that. And that's not good. You know, God is good. And I want what's good. After that, we we met. Uh, David Brown and started going to the Good Samaritan Counseling and he just did an, an amazing job of, of teaching us how to how to do relationship together and, and with God and uh, he really saved, helped save our marriage. You know, David Brown's an awesome person. I thank God for uh, waking up every day. I thank him for my family, uh, for my marriage that I have. I thank him for my life. Uh, for the overcoming the addiction that I did and the way that I did it is, uh, is just amazing to me. It's like Brad said the other day, wow, you know, what, what, you know, it's, it's just amazing. God is awesome. I want to be like Jesus. You know, I want to live like Christ lived and I want to uh, love the church like Christ loved the church. I, I want to show everybody my commitment to God. And, uh, I'm excited about it. Wow, come on church, let's celebrate this. Richard, so excited for you, buddy. I'm so proud of you, man. This is what it's about. I just thought of Galatians 5.1. It, it says, it is for freedom. It is for this that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then. You don't have to go back to that yoke of slavery. This is a story, this is a testimony that is encouraging to, to anyone out there that has fought that demon of addiction in any kind of way whatsoever. They come after all of us, but it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. It is for this. And we're so excited for you, buddy. We're here to walk with you, to continue to fight with you. We believe in you. We're proud of you. And we pray for you. Uh, we're excited to baptize you today. I want to pray for you here with your girls, your, your, your bride, and, and all of your family and friends. Look around. All these people just love you and, are, and celebrate with you today.
Let's pray for Let's pray for Richard. Father God, thank you so much for this story. Thank you so much for making freedom possible. That we don't have to walk through this life as slaves to sin. That there is victory. And when you set us free, we are truly free indeed. Thank you for the freedom that you have given Richard. God, I pray he continue to walk in it and to be all in with you. May this be the beginning of a brand new life full of power and victory. And may he lead hundreds, if not thousands more, to a place of freedom and trust in you. Thank you for this testimony today. Thank you for his story. In Jesus' name, amen. Richard, have you trusted Christ and you're going all in with him? Absolutely. You want to live the rest of your life serving him, filled with his spirit, and leading others to a relationship with him? Yes, I do. Well, because of your commitment to him, because of his commitment to you, we celebrate with very loud voice today, and we baptize you in the name of the Father, his Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Can we give Jesus another hand clap? Can we do that? Oh, we celebrate you. We celebrate you, Lord.